Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberhack. Today I'm going to go over a particular posting of a job on LinkedIn that I found to be pretty interesting at the same time, really confusing with a very reputable company here in the United States, of course. And I'm sure a lot of you football fanatics would know a lot about this. And when I say football, it's not soccer because in the US it's called soccer and everywhere else is called football. But when I say football, it means the one that you play with your hands. Okay, so let me just dive a little deeper into this. And of course, if you guys are noticing that I'm looking up constantly at my screen, uh, it's all the way up on top. So my eye just tends to glance up there when I'm looking at my OBS settings and you know as I'm recording let me just get a little deeper into this so this is a particular post that was uh, a week ago uh, 28 people actively clicked on apply so you actually when you click apply here it actually brings you out to a an additional website so you can actually apply for this position so and it gives you the full details here and I, I wanted to go over some of the details as to what the responsibilities are the required qualifications now mind you this is a manager position okay now what's a little more confusing here it says 110 to 145 thousand uh you know the salary range in the uh, you know, that's uh, us dollars but then it says part-time like okay 110 to 145 thousand part-time does not sound too bad. You have to have at least uh, these required skills that they're asking for, which is uh, firewall being one of the stronger ones. And of course, application security, communication and network security, pretty much the basics of any position for cybersecurity plus others, uh, meaning other industries probably want you to have uh, as far as networking and, you know, just getting into cybersecurity alone has a lot of different tracks so they want to make sure that you have this particular skill set to get for this uh, you get into this position let's dive a little deeper into the objective because i found this on linkedin because it redirects you out to the external site or the official site of nfl let's go here but again i want to point out here on linkedin it says part-time and then as we scroll a little further down because i was reviewing it then it says here the terms expected hours of work is NFL employees are required to work 40 hours per week. Okay, so that's a little confusing, right? First you say it's part-time, then you say you expect to work 40 hours because if it's 40 hours, then it's full-time. But anyway, let's go to the official posting and see if we can catch that mistake as well. But at first glance, I do not see anything here that even says part-time for that type of money. So let's dive a little deeper into what the overview is so as a manager at nfl network security you will be responsible for designing implementing and maintaining robust network security solutions to protect our organization's digital infrastructure and cyber threats it sounds like a lot to grasp for this position meaning it sounds like you're going to be pretty hands-on not in the manager typical manager position where you're going to be delegating the work out to other individuals at least that's not what i've gathered from this particular posting it doesn't mention of a team right it doesn't mention any team that you're going to be managing it sounds like you're going to be doing most of this now don't be surprised because most manager position at this given point in time which i have seen has gone to be very hands-on to technical to the point where they give you this fancy title but the, the salary doesn't quite match but it just seems like a glorified higher senior technical person with a manager title and if they so choose to hire someone else they'll throw them under you and then you guide them that's what i'm kind of gathering from this particular overview and objective right here as such we'll be focused on protecting nfl organization and will be responsible for enterprise firewall and network security estate including devices services configurations controls and strategic implementation which is great that's a lot of qualities that any cybersecurity in this manager position should have now whether you're a manager or a more senior experienced cybersecurity uh, those are the qualities you definitely should have. Again, I'm coming back to the salary because it just doesn't make sense. Why is a manager position for such a prestigious company is offering the salary at such a lower rate? Because I think one thing that's happening right now is that the market obviously, again, is saturated with a lot of talent because there were a massive layoff within the last year or so 
that a lot more people are on the market and companies, organizations are able to negotiate lower salary because some people are just obviously desperate right now to land a job. Uh, some people have been unemployed for quite some time now and the market is getting really tough and competitive, not to the point where it was two three years ago prior where the market was like booming everyone was hiring anything that you knew that was related to cybersecurity, or you had a, you know the lowest of the low certification you were hired for top dollars and you were full remote but that's not what it looks like here so let's go over the responsibility oversee network security engineering configuration monitoring alerting and maintenance of all Enterprise network security equipment, including firewall, network access control systems, and network detection and response platforms. Oof, that is a handful and a mouthful. Uh, if you're doing this every day, can you imagine at the peak of the season during the whole football, you know, uh, season is usually during the fall and, and going into the winter time. So can you imagine the high intensity, the high uh, hands on deck and and all that great terminology that corporations use during playoffs and then during the whole entire Super Bowl I'm sure they're constantly being monitored and, and compromised and targeted in, in many fashion many ways a lot of things will probably be hold, put on hold during project time I mean uh, during Super Bowl time because of you know projects may potentially harm or, or take down certain uh, aspects of the network that they can't afford to lose so i would say there would definitely be tense seasonal tense more tense than usual uh, summertime and spring would probably be less active in regards to probably network activity and, and cyber security threats because there's not a lot going on but not to say that you can't just be hands off all that time uh 24 7 throughout the course of the year is is what cybersecurity is all about uh, monitoring and making sure that you know there's no abnormal behavior within the infrastructure or the organization uh, whether it's phishing or even social engineering but that's cool it sounds like there's going to be a lot involved uh, manage managed uh, <laughs> this is a funny one manage managed firewall vendor so your firewall is being managed by an outside vendor and you're going to be managing that vendor in regards of delegating changes upgrades patches fixes software updates all that great stuff you're going to be working with the vendor directly so not so much where you're going to be hands-on with the firewall itself but do not mistake in that for making sure that you actually understand the firewall because you need to review a lot of uh, certain changes additions removal of, of access and all that other stuff that pertaining to firewall uh, configurations um, management and all that and other key network security relationships and monitor the overall performance quality of these vendors so of course they're saying here that there's other vendors that you're going to have to be working with whether it's edrs antivirus uh, sim and all those other uh, cybersecurity related probably you, you do annual or, or biannual uh, pen testing uh, vulnerability scans who do you outsource that to or do you do that internally they won't detail all those things out but at least here they're telling you that they're outsourcing a lot of these things to vendors so this manager position is basically saying you're managing vendors you may not have an actual team internally uh, not a large team at least maybe hopefully you have someone else one person under you so when you take vacation day which hopefully you can uh, they're not you know they're gonna be able to say that you can't take vacation that there's someone there to cover for you and understand that who to call and who to escalate and how to deal with a situation if you're not around so uh, but being the manager is probably going to be the first person that they're going to look to uh, in regards to how we're going to start dealing with the uh, incident response and all that all right so proactively review and analyze existing firewall configuration like i just said previously so that's one of the responsibilities that you're going to do because i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of changes going on and you actually have to identify or potentially make sure that these changes don't impact the services or the network uh, connectivity whatsoever making sure that it's minimal even if, if there was a a small margin of mistake areas improvement security best practices and performance optimization probably there's not a lot of other industries that's similar uh to the nfl because nfl is so unique but maybe other 
you know uh, best practices would be falling into other uh, sports events right uh, in the United States at least right hockey is huge basketball is big and then of course football uh, there is soccer and and of course uh, so when I say these sports it, it goes for both men and women best practices would be what industry that you would follow more closely NFL has a lot of online presence right they do credit card transactions as well and and they will have to follow by those frameworks they would have other frameworks that they would follow in regards to threat response and incident response tabletop exercises and all those other stuff that you will work with the vendor and making sure that if there was an outage or there was a potential harm in the organization or the network everyone is aware of who the primary system owners are uh, and, and there's a lot to deal with because I mean, I say big presence, it also means that they have uh, web servers that someone has to manage, right? So you have a web developer, you have the web designer, you have the marketing team, and you have all those other fractions that um, that comes together to build all this out. And as a cybersecurity manager, the manager of network security, you have to make sure that you know all these are in place if there was a a downtime on any of these uh, equipment servers or whatever it is redundancy of that is instantaneously because the nfl is a huge organization uh define review and advise on firewall operational requirements including guidelines baseline uh sops for managed firewall operation groups uh similar a little similar to what i just uh, spoke about uh, spoke about in regards to guidelines like frameworks and things like that uh, baselines uh, lead and design delivery, operationalizing of, uh, that's a long word, of processes and SOPs for firewalls and network security platform across the NFL state. And I believe NFL state meaning across each state line because every state has an NFL team that probably one way or another connects back to the, the central NFL or the central hub. And, and I would say a lot of that information, player statistics, um, uh, games, uh, you know, wins and losses, all those information has to be make sure to be retained and accurate. I, I'm just guessing here. I don't know the details of the inner, you know, operations of the NFL, but if you guys do know, comment below. I would love to learn more. Research and identify key, uh, define key areas of improvement, existing network and firewall configurations and services. That's a given. You have to keep up to date with the latest and greatest technologies. Vendors sometimes reach out to you. And they'll be like, hey, we got this new service and this new product or whatever it is. And they kind of sell it to you and you have to decide for yourself after sitting with them through this uh, sales pitch that they usually do to make sure to see if it even makes sense for you. How does that benefit? How does that uh, how does that increase the revenue for your services? If, if you were to go down, does that cost more to to implement? Than, than if you were just to keep it the way it is for now. You know, a lot of things come into factor. And of course, as far as potential future threats, they're constantly trying to improve on that to make sure that that one step ahead of the, the hackers or the crackers out there. Uh, lead, drive, and oversee the merging and firewall and network security solution services uh, uh, from projects to BAU operations. Now, this responsibility is in tremendously focused on firewall. Define and drive key process improvement for existing solutions by working closely with the internal teams and vendors. So of course, internal team meaning you have your uh, po probably policy uh, creators, um, auditors, and network engineers that probably manage you know the switches and the routers and uh, your connectivity to the internet. So a lot of those guys are on different teams and not really part of cybersecurity team. Uh, well, they, here they call it network security team or the manager of the network security. So I really feel like this position is a a, uh, a single person for now, uh, unless they do have someone or a team. It hasn't mentioned that yet, so I don't see that as being a really uh, large presence in the NFL right now. Um, so not sure. It, it seems more like they want someone to manage the firewall aspect of it and maybe they separated everything else right older 65 security or you know whether they're on the cloud amazon or azure or maybe they even have in a lot of on-prem on-premises uh, equipment that they want to manage 
Um, all right, so managing and implement project and technology upgrade, including evaluation and recommendation for security and control configurations. So you're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, upgrades and making sure that, you know, they're on the latest and greatest uh, technology wise um, and, you know, recommendations on what they can improve their uh, posture on regarding, uh, you know, going forward with the NFL not being outdated all right so provide technical domain guidance and expertise to stakeholders and business units as and when needed with regards to firewall services so again they're, they're emphasizing a lot on the firewall and that's probably what this person is going to be mainly focused on because obviously every single line of responsibility has been really focused on firewall technical domain guidance to expertise uh, to stakeholders meaning uh, c-level suites uh, directors managers whatever it is that that's uh, whoever's above you you know actually working with the other teams and groups and uh, you know kind of updating them and relaying information on what firewall uh, services has uh, has been you know beneficial to the organization uh, what did it block today what did it block last week or uh, what threats we potentially prevented from happening because you know you're you're monitoring the logs and, and it possibly is going into a sim it doesn't mention that or maybe just looking at the raw logs from the firewall services itself or possibly the logs are going to the vendor who's managing it and producing a report for you so you can bring it back to your management internally and then discuss it like oh you know we need additional services and, and additional firewall this or that or or we need to upgrade the firewall we would have to relay that information back to them so let's go over here and the two more to go oversee documentation and analysis of firewall logs and records to identify and react to any network threats or unauthorized changes to settings oh again so this is basically what i just said previously so you're monitoring the logs and you're just making sure that you know your baseline and and what you have it currently now is that there's no you know abnormal behavior that stands out and the potentially you know why why are changes being made and, and no one's aware of it or threats can do that right they can uh, potentially harm and, and compromise the firewall or someone internally is able to gain access to it and using other credentials or even as simple as keeping default passwords and someone's logging in to make these changes and no one's picking up on it that's the responsibility of yours that you have to mo make sure that you're monitoring making sure that you understand what's going on in the network and these changes are constantly being monitored referred back to previous uh, states because you know if there was ever a confusing moment like hey i, I don't recall making those changes uh there's a couple other guys that have privileges to make these changes so maybe i you know we, we need to review this again like what why do we have this open why do we have port 20 uh 21 open uh for whatever reason right no one knows and uh that's something that you have to pick up and uh, start explaining or, or document uh provide regular firewall and network security operation updates from management reporting again it goes right back to implementing reports and and updates to your senior management or you know other peers within your organization if you're a manager and then you're probably going to have like a manager's meeting and you're going to everyone's going to update on their little group task or what they've been doing for the last week or last two weeks uh you know what changes have been made on the firewall that may impact other services going forward to these other teams uh, networking team uh, you know marketing team accounting finance whatever it is uh, they have to make sure that everyone's aware of any changes, updates, patches that potentially may, uh, you know, cause some type of outage or discrepancy between, you know, the data, right? So everyone just needs to be on the same page as always. So I feel like this position, even though it's a manager's position, is more of a glorified senior engineer firewall person. And uh, I, I feel like the the uh the salary is is adequate for that role because you can see the responsibility is not ridiculously long uh and all of it if not all of it uh mainly focuses on m making sure the firewall is is the one thing that you are responsible for not one time did it mention edrs antivirus sims uh you know incident response like you know that's part of it but ultimately, anything that relates to the firewall is going to be your responsibility. And here, so let's go over really quickly. And I know this video is running a little longer 
and uh, minimum five year working experience when in firewall network security domain so it doesn't have to be any particular firewall in particular because most firewall uh, consoles configurations are pretty similar in what they need to do open ports closed ports and, and you know every vendor may have different little enhancements that they can do or differences but ultimately a firewall is a firewall right you're here you're using it to block traffic or monitor traffic and uh, prevent things from coming through that shouldn't be uh, three years of which you have led a team so maybe here it kind of tells me that you may have a small team here but it doesn't say how many uh, so having three years of, of um, which having led a team probably indicates to me that there will be like one or two people under you and, and that's just my guess proven experience in designing implementing maintaining network solution and infrastructure with strong understanding of networking protocols architecture and technologies so not only do you have to have firewall experience you need to have some type of networking background as well to build out the infrastructure to connect a group of devices out to the real world uh, and making sure that all that's working and documented and there's a solution whether it's getting the vendors the proper vendors isps uh equipment you know the the basic foundation of networking is seems like what they're trying to make sure that you know they may spin up you know a, a office a new office somewhere and they want connectivity right away like you have to understand those process those steps in order to get that working right away if they had a, a new office and you need to get the vendor for the isp you need to you know make sure that, you know everything's all jacked up um you know whether it's wireless or or you know running uh cables around the entire office uh building out the whole solution right uh making sure you got your router your switches your firewall and putting all that together to make sure that you have your connectivity back possibly even back to the main central office and then what are you going to need with that you need vpns and um or or you know site to site vpn whatever it is that you would need to con communicate or connect back to share this information so here it actually says hands-on experience with networking security tools and technologies including firewall ids ips's vpn sim etc so those are pretty common uh so here it does start mentioning about sim but very briefly like it possibly even if you know just a little bit may get you by on this one vpn is probably uh, like i mentioned earlier state to state uh, every state has a nfl team and i'm pretty sure each state has a nfl presence as far as office and they probably do communicate back to some central office somewhere to uh, you know share information proficiency in configuring and managing network devices from vendors such as cisco palo alto network check uh, networks uh, checkpoint and fortinet oh wow so here this is this is like these uh perfect reconnaissance uh information like oh i wonder what this nfl use well here it, it basically tells you cisco palo alto network checkpoint and fortinet possibly more i'm not surprised if they're even a crowdstrike client so uh maybe not i'm not sure that can probably be easily found if you start searching uh, who got affected during the crowdstrike outage and you can see who the list the long list of people who are using crowdstrike right experience with network security protocol and standards such as ip uh, ipsec ssl tsl dnssec uh, snmp common uh, as a cybersecurity, if you're in that field you probably have learned that in security plus if uh, and then you know even within uh, ccna you start learning uh, these protocols as well uh, domain experience in public cloud technologies such as aws azure and google cloud so pretty much uh, they're pretty broad here like i i fail to see one organization use all three uh but i'm not entirely surprised but at the same time i think it's more of a throw up to say hey uh, just know the most common cloud vendors out there right now and they're all pretty much one way or another they're pretty similar they do the same thing it's like you know driving a car if it has four wheels and a steering wheel and gas and brake you can probably drive it whether it's it's better than the other car that's debatable right so that's pretty much it i wanted to share that with you guys and i i found this particular job posting to be really interesting and a great review uh hopefully you enjoyed this video in regards to you know how much information that you've gathered from it by reviewing 
uh, a job description that's on LinkedIn. And if you feel like there's other jobs or maybe even beginner jobs, intermediate jobs that you want to, you know, go over and review and, and how do you, how does it sound to you? Because some people glance over it and say, oh, I know this, I know this, I know this. And if you start reading into the details of the wording of the, uh, the job description or the job posting, you can actually pull out a lot of information, like how kind of estimate, like how much work you're going to be doing. How large is this team? Are you going to be managing a team? Are you going to be working with a team? What are your responsibility from time to time? I always refer back to my job description just to see from the original job posting to a job description, just to see, to make sure that everything that uh, so far from what I'm doing is aligned with what I applied for. Now, why do I do that? Only because I just want to make sure that, you know, what my, what the expectation from me is that I'm providing everything that was being asked for during the interview. And when I got hired, I can't come back and say, well, that wasn't on my job description. So I'm not doing it. things. You know, things do change. So, but just understanding what you're supposed to be responsible for makes a key difference in producing quality work, in my opinion, at least. So I want to thank you guys for being here. Please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.